Get your jersey down. Let's get ready to practice. There's an emotional letdown when you're preparing hard for a season and somebody tells you, hey, it's not going to happen. You know, everyone's disappointed right away because you want to play football in the fall. You know, I think it's, as everyone knows, that's, that's when you got to play it. Um, but it was, it was tough. You got to let them know and then you kind of got to move on, you know, just like anything else in life, right? If something bad happens, you got to pick yourself off the ground and move forward. Once we got over that initial disappointment, I really think our guys have handled it well. They've come to work every day. You could just feel they wanted to play this year. You know, you work so hard and put in so much time getting ready for a season, whether it's in the weight room, whether it was in video sessions, whether it was on the practice field. I thought we held, really held together in our fall camp. And then when our guys went home for the break, they came back in, in good shape. Through that time off, I thought our guys uh, did an excellent job in just the development of, of who they are as a, as a football player and developing their body in the weight room and things like that. There's multiple guys on the team who've, who've put on considerable weight and strength numbers and have gotten better. You know, we hit the field running and we knew we'd probably have to make some adjustments and we wanted to make sure we took care of our team yet got them ready for spring camp. And, and I felt like the guys did a really good job. To be a really, really good football team, I think you got to be connected. Guys got to care about each other, play play for each other, play for a bigger purpose than just themselves or just winning the game. There's something that feels good about this team, um, and we're excited for these guys to get their opportunity. They come here to play ball, and uh, we're going to get some games going here. guys are uh, ready to play a game. It's been about 15 months, so it's been a long time. It's such a different team than the 2019 team. The last time we played a game, a lot of them were still in high school. You know, it's just weird. We hired some coaches after our 2019 season. They haven't coached a game yet. They've been here over a year. You know, you're kind of going into the fall and you're like, all right, it's, it's time to roll. And then you get the news that you're not going to play. So now you got, you got more time to make sure that you're on top of all your stuff. From our fall transition to our spring camp transition, like we ended in mid-November, so it didn't feel like it was a, a lot of time before we got going again with our spring camp in, in January. So a lot of the recall um, from the fall kind of carried over to spring camp. So you almost feel like you got 35 practices in here before we're able to you know, play this eight game schedule. We're trying to get better every day. We know there's a ton that we can learn and we can get better at. So. Uh, which what we want to do is just, just keep improving at what we're doing. You practice so much and there's so limited game opportunities where you feel like uh, this could be a really cool time for them this spring to, to get on that stage and perform. Got him. Now we get to this point and we'll see, you know, our first test is Saturday, how good a job we've really done and and then we move on from there. You know, every week's gonna be a battle. I think we understand that we just gotta take it day by day and one play at a time and move on to the next thing that happens. So um, we're excited though. We're excited for the challenge. We're excited to play at home. Until you actually play a game against some competition, uh, there's a lot of wild cards, a lot of, a lot of factors that are kind of unknown. So looking forward to getting out there in front of our home crowd and, uh, and playing and feel good about where we're at. Um, excited about the preparation for Southern Illinois and just looking forward to getting out there on Saturday. We're in our seventh year here now, and we're just preparing for a football game and know that it's against a very good opponent, and we're excited to get to Saturday at 12.05 at the kickoff.